Hi, my name is Brian. This is my attitudes reflection presentation. Sabbath 2012 quoted, attitudes are generally considered to be summary evaluative reactions of a target that include dimensions such as good, bad, harmful, beneficial, and likable, and unlikable. But as far as attitudes are considered, most of the time we only hear of bad attitudes, not good attitudes. How often do you hear someone say, hey, you have a good attitude? Almost never. For this attitudes and reflection presentation, I will be reflecting back on my own behavior from yesterday, which was a typical Friday work day that starts 150 miles from my home and family. I work overnights two times a week, every week. Being away from my home and family is not fun for me. My overall attitude in the beginning of the day was, was all about focus and motivation. I was moderately calm before my coffee, then my mind was instantly flooded with what I had to do, where I was going, how long it was going to take, and 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 am I going to get done early enough so I can go home and work on my schoolwork? Am I going to have enough energy for Kung Fu tonight? This is the point of the morning where that my anxiety starts to kick in and affect my attitude in a negative way. I am always getting caught up in future events instead of focusing on the present moment. On this particular Friday, I was pretty calm and collective. My attitude remained pretty calm even when I returned to the plant to unload and reload for my next route drive on Monday. I went to Kung Fu class at 6 p.m. and worked out hard and I had a good time with my friends. I believe my attitude is improving because I am opening my heart to God overall. After working the same job, the same route, the same clients for over four years now i've developed a complacent routine and overall attitude strength while running my route sabbath 2012 wrote attitude strength has been defined in terms of extremity of attitude its degree of personal relevance stability across time degree of certainty about the attitude and so on the beginning hypothesis about my attitude and the causes that it created that created the shifts that occurred during the day is based on the stimuli that I encountered throughout the day. The main forms of stimuli that I encountered on my average day consist of weather, road conditions, deer and elk, and of course, clients. Out of all these, the clients, the humans, are the main cause of my daily attitude change and high anxiety. And how many birds I accidentally hit. Poor birds. My ability to control my attitude and act and react on a non-dysfunctional manner is an important aspect in my line of work. It also helps if I use good moral values, moral integrity is an important role to play when you are placed in a position of trust. Sabbath 2012 wrote, a primary motive for the person to act morally, but when they see the heavy cost of action, they may decide to do otherwise. Sometimes my inability to control my attitude impedes my moral compass. McKnight and Chapman, 2010, wrote, Attitude is your general disposition, your mental starting point for viewing life and the people and events in it. From your viewpoint, attitude is the way you look at things mentally, and it all starts inside your head. For others, your attitude is the overall mood they interpret from what they see you say and do, so your actions. I like what they... (coughs) I like what they say about it. It starts inside your head. That's the problem. It all starts in my head. Then it spews forth. Before I know it, I'm back in the doghouse. From a biblical worldview, my attitude is reflected by how in tune I am with the steps that I use to process and react. My attitudes are an exponential pattern of growth due to my maturing factor in the understanding of God's grace. Devote yourselves to prayer. Keep an alert in it with an attitude of personal favoritism. Colossians 4.2 It is this door in our minds that can only be opened by His Word and His His Word alone. This is my reference page, and thank you.